Good morning from the Dallas, Texas airport. This is where I slept last night. When I went to bed last night, this place was completely empty and now it's jam packed and I woke up. Like I woke up and I look around and like just everyone's looking at me. Just conked out here with like my mini pillow and the sleeping bag. Today's day four of living in airports until I give up. Today we're spending the majority of the day in the Dallas airport, which I found out is actually bigger than the size of Manhattan. Basically there's gonna be an insane amount of stuff to do in this airport today. And I'm actually really excited about it. I didn't sleep horrible on this little couch last night, but it is pretty hard. There was a lot of announcements going off and like starting at 4 a.m. it started getting pretty busy in here. I'd say I was probably waking up every like 30 minutes or so. I think one of the hardest parts about this series is the lack of sleep is definitely wearing on me from sleeping on planes all the time, from sleeping on the ground, from sleeping like just in the middle of public all the time. But I am not giving up yet. We're gonna continue baby because it's only day four. But first, morning routine. <laughs> new and doesn't know and hasn't watched the other daily vlogs, my sleeping pad popped the other night. I always sleep in my sleeping pad at the airport so I don't have to sleep like directly on the hard floor. But it pops so right now I have no option but to either find a spot to sleep in the airport that's like a couch which is not in every airport or sleep directly on the ground. But today I think I have a solution to that. So before the series started a little bit back uh, my sleeping pad broke another time and I shipped a pad to a hotel that's like really close to this airport. But then I ended up forgetting to pick up the pad at the hotel because it was arriving late, so it's just stuck in at the hotel now for like over a week. I wasn't planning on picking it up until after the airport series, but now that my pad is not working, I'm gonna try to get it today. Now, obviously, one of the rules of the series is that I can't leave the airport, so I have a plan. I have no idea if it's gonna work. I'm gonna try to contact the hotel and see if they're gonna come pick up anyone from the airport anyway on the airport shuttle, and if they can go to the mailroom and bring my mail to the airport for me, and I can meet them outside security right at the shuttle pickup. Let's hope they'll do it. But first, we are in Texas, and I'm starving, so I got to try some Texas barbecue. Right now we're at the E gates. We gotta go to A on the Sky Train. Apparently that's where the delicious barbecue is. Barbecue. I'm curious if I can taste that it tastes different because we're in Texas. It's known as Texas barbecue. Get out. This is what it looks like. It was kind of expensive at like $26, but at the same time, we are in an airport and airport food is expensive. Okay, moment of truth. Mm. Wow. It's honestly banger. I feel like I'm actually in Texas, even though I'm just at the airport. I'll tell you guys when I'm done eating, but this is banger. This was amazing. All right, next step of the day is to try to get that sleeping pad figured out. I'm gonna call the hotel now and see if they're willing to bring it to the airport. Fingers crossed, this is gonna make or break the next a lot of days for me. <laughs> so let's really hope they'll help me out. Because if not, I'm gonna be sleeping on the ground a lot. And that would suck so bad, because I already have a sleeping pad. It's just that I would tell you here. Okay, I'm calling. Thank you for calling Hyatt Place, Dallas Los Colinas. You are being transferred to the operator. 
Hi, uh, so I uh, was staying there a little bit back and I ordered a package there, but the package ended up being kind of delivered late by Amazon by like two days, so I ended up missing the package. I'm actually at the, I'm at the Dallas airport right now. I was wondering if you were doing any drop-offs today with the shuttle that you could potentially bring the package. I have like a eight hour layover here, so I was just wondering if you happen to go to the airport anyway, if I could grab it from the shuttle. Perfect, thank you so much. I really hope he says yes. He says he's gonna confirm that and get back to me in a second. <sighs> please help me, please help me Hyatt, please. please. I'll be loyal to Hyatt for the rest of my life. Could I take the shuttle there and come and get it? Okay. <laughs> They'll drop off people, but I don't need them to drop off the package. Like, they, only if they're dropping off a person anyway. Oh my God, if they won't bring me this right now, I would be so upset. Hello? Hello. Yes, hi. I ordered something from Amazon, but by the time that it came in, it was delayed two days by Amazon. So I wasn't there anymore when it came in. And the package is like really important. I was just wondering if there was a way I could get it. Like if you're bringing passengers to the airport already, if you could just bring it with you. Like I have an eight hour layover here, so I'll be here all day. We, we cannot take you, your, your, your stuff to the airport now. So you have to come and pick, pick your, your, your uh, box. Are you picking up passengers today where I could go in the shuttle to the hotel to get it? No, it's for, for the guests and we have many people arriving right, right away, so it's not uh, available right now. They won't help me, that's so dumb because she literally said there's a bunch of passengers coming in today and they just won't help me, so that sucks. <laughs> Like, I don't understand why they're gonna be coming anyway to the airport. The kid just put the package in. Is it a liability or something? I don't know. Uh, she says I'd have to take the taxi there. But then I'd be leaving the airport. Is that cheating if I leave the airport? Just to run and get it and come back? Uh, this is horrible news. All right, I'm gonna think about this and try to figure out what to do. You have to be outside to pick the, the package. Oh my god, okay. perfect. Just go to the shuttle stop? Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to send the, the shuttle with your package. And uh, you, you have to be outside to, to pick the shuttle. So I'm going to take your phone number to get the package. Okay. Okay. Could you, could you tell me your phone number, please? Yes. Yeah. And your name, then? Is Cassandra Aran. Uh, yes. Thank you so much. This is such a huge help. And where, where are you? Could you tell me the gate or the door? Where are you going to be? But um, I could be anywhere. So right now I'm, I'm, I haven't left security yet, but I can leave right now and I can go wherever is best for you. Okay. Let me ask. Hold on, please. Perfect. Oh my God. They made an exception. They're going to help me. All right. They're dropping off the package. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. What a win today. What a win. I'm gonna have a sleeping pad. I'm not gonna sleep on the ground. I can't believe I just called back to see if they could ship it to my house or something so I could get it later. And then she's like, oh, she just asked the manager. Yes. All right, all right. Yes, all right, we're leaving security and we're gonna get the package. All right, we gotta catch this train. It's gonna leave in a second. At least we're fast. Off the train. All right, we are exiting the airport to go outside to the courtesy shuttle. I'm pretty sure the courtesy shuttle's all the way on the end here, which is great because then I get the scooter even longer. But first I gotta take my sweatshirt off because oh my God, it's hot in Texas. It's so crazy when you leave the airport to realize like how hot or cold it actually is in the state I'm in because I feel like you just don't get any of that when you're actually in the airport just looking outside. All right, we're taking it off. Chance to show that off today, baby. All right, we made it to courtesy vans. This is the pickup spot. The Hyatt just called and said they're gonna be here in about 20 minutes. All right, I'm gonna wait here for a bit for the courtesy van. Fingers crossed they show up soon, but honestly, even if they take a long time, I don't care. I'm just happy they're coming. Right. 
I just decided when she does get here, I'm gonna give her a $5 tip because this is so helpful. Here she is, yes. Oh my God, thank you so much. She's like, I just knew it must have been something important and she has no idea how important this was. So ridiculously important. This is the difference between me sleeping on the ground tonight and not, or sleeping on the ground for the next few days and not. So, yes. <laughs> Biggest win of the day. All right, we can get back in the airport because I'm starting to get mosquito bites. I'm ready to go back to living inside now. <laughs> All right, so we got a small problem. I just opened up the Thermarest and it's a solid amount bigger than the old one. That's the old one, this is the new one. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but the suitcase is not very big and the one that I have to swap it out for after this, for anyone who's new, every three days or so, I have to fly back to Tampa. My car is parked there and I have to swap out my luggage for another insane luggage. Before this whole entire challenge started, I picked out the most insane luggages in the entire world. This one's one of them. That's why it's a kick scooter. And the next one is even smaller than this. And even more insane. So I'm a little bit worried about the size of this thermo rest. Gosh, I hope it works out and fits in the bags. That being said, I'm still incredibly grateful to have it. All right, so the old one fit right here. Let's see if the new one fits. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh my God, it's wider than the suitcase. Oh, kind of? It definitely pushes on the edges out, but it fits way less nicely than the old one. Like it definitely puts strain on the suitcase, but we're gonna have to make it work. All right, let's get back inside into the AC. I'm still getting eaten alive. I am. We are. We're heading back inside the airport. We gotta get in the elevator. Are we gonna go back through security? All right, security took like two seconds, so I'm on the other side now. So as I mentioned before, this is a giant airport, bigger than the size of Manhattan. So I looked up some of the really cool things to do here and there is a free yoga room, but they have a yoga video that just plays on repeat and you can like copy what it's doing. So we're gonna go there. The other big reason to go there is today's the last day to finish the half marathon on the scooter. For anyone who's new, I have to complete a half marathon on every single scooter dash luggage that I have. Some of them are much harder than this one. This is one of the easiest ones. I'm pretty close to completing the half marathon. I only have two miles left. So I think we're gonna be able to knock it out when we're just going over to the yoga studio. There's there's also these like game rooms inside this airport. And because of my credit card, I can get free snacks at the game rooms. And we can play a little mini video game. They have like an Xbox, a PlayStation. I'm gonna try to fit all of this in, plus get free food at the lounge before the flight. We're definitely pushing it on time right now. So we're on the way to the airport train. Right now we're in terminal B, but we have to make it to terminal E to get to the yoga. And hopefully there's a game station there too. I'm not really sure I'm gonna have to check, but fingers crossed. To the train we go. Damn, I just missed the train. right now and I just realized the sunset's happening. At least this was happening in 20 minutes. And I don't want to be in a yoga room not being able to see it when it's happening. So we're actually gonna go to the airport lounge because it has an amazing view of the sunset. So we're gonna go have some free drinks, some free food and chill there. And then we'll go do some yoga before the flight. I just can't get too caught up in the lounge that I don't leave. But the sunset's gonna be too good to pass it out. All right, made it to the lounge. They have a few minute wait list. So let's hope we don't miss the sunset. It happens any minute now. We're waiting in the lounge right here. Well, we're waiting in the waiting room for the lounge. Fingers crossed. Okay, they're ready for us. Sunset's supposed to have started already, but hopefully we didn't miss it. Fingers crossed. Not one lounge. Here we are. Moment of truth, did we miss it? I'm going to the window now. We just barely made it on time. It's perfect. This is the food I got. It looks so good. Uh, can I just get pineapple juice and vodka? That's it? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have fun, girls. I love these little dishes that they give you. <laughs> and the sunset's absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, so I just met that amazing person in the lounge. And <laughs> 
I've been chilling. I am two drinks in. It was so fun. But that means I have less than an hour before boarding. I don't drink often, but this is the second time I drank on the series. Something about being in these lounges and having free drinks is just so fun. And honestly, I think it'll be less fun once I switch luggages. But right now, when I have this kick scooter luggage, having a drink and scooting around is honestly a blast. I hate to admit it. The sun is completely down now. It's dark outside. Completely dark outside. But I do want to try to do some yoga before I leave the airport because that's such a unique, cool thing to the Dallas airport. I already had Texas barbecue. I haven't had free yoga yet and not many airports have free yoga. So we're gonna go scoot over to the free yoga before we leave. And hopefully this food holds me over for the rest of the night because we don't arrive in Tampa until after midnight. And then that is when tomorrow morning we are swapping luggages, which I cannot explain enough how upset I am about that. I'm excited for a new luggage, but I am so in love with this cake scooter luggage that it's gonna suck. It's fine though, it's fine. We're gonna make the most of it. It's part of the challenge. It's not supposed to be fun and easy. It's supposed to be hard. All right, let's go. We're leaving the lounge. We're going to Capital One Lounge. All right, we're in kind of a rush. We're going to kick scooter mode. The lounge was dope. Let's get out of here. To yoga. I just tried to get to the yoga studio. We have to be internal E and we're in D. I don't know why I thought we were in E. Oh, so, oh my God. Two drinks in, God. All right, we are on the way to E, which we have to take the train to get there. Guys, I'm having so much fun in the airport, like every day, honestly. I mean, this is definitely a challenge. It's definitely uncomfortable. It definitely has its ups and downs, but doesn't every challenge? Every challenge is like some moments you're like, wow, I'm on top of the world, which is right now. And then there's other moments where you're like, oh my God, why did I do this? Which was like last night when I was sleeping on the couch and everyone was staring at me and like shaming me for like sleeping with my sleeping pad and my PJs. You get both. Challenges come with both. But what I love about them so much is they make you get uncomfortable. And I feel like it's really good to be comfortable with yourself, even in really uncomfortable situations. All right, let's hop the train. We're almost up the escalator. It's right over here. There's the train. We have 45 minutes before boarding. All right, I think the train's coming any minute. So we're gonna hurry. Woohoo! To gates baby. Wow, just in time. The train's literally pulling up as we speak. It's fake. The seat's open on the train all the way to E-Gates. And the yoga studio is near E31, so this is our stop. All right, this is our stop. Bye, okay. Jake. All right, we are going to E31 where the yoga studio is. That was escalator. So I thrive on having more things to do than time I have to do them. As crazy as that sounds, because it sounds so stressful, but I feel like the fact that I have to board soon would make most people like run into their gate and instead I'm going to go do yoga right now. Um, I hope you guys accept me for who I am because that's what I'm doing. And honestly, I feel like it's fine. We're gonna go do some yoga. We have to board in like 35 minutes. It's fine, it's fine, it's cool, we're fine. All right, we are looking for gate E31. It's fine, we gotta pump our legs and get there soon. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm at E31, just like it says online. It says the yoga studio is supposed to be here and I swear it does not exist. I have looked everywhere, I've scooted around, it's not here. So I'm kind of upset about it, but it's okay. I literally have looked everywhere. We might not be doing yoga today, guys. I don't have much time for my flight to try to get a massage, but that's another option. I do get a free massage in this airport. All right, there's no yoga studio to be found. It's like not here. But I do get free snacks in this airport. It's something called a Gameway. It's basically an arcade where you can play Xbox and PlayStation, but I'm not a big Xbox or PlayStation person. Like I don't play video games, but I will take the free snacks. And if I go there, I can just ask for the free snacks and not play a game. I'm gonna do that because I don't want this whole mission to be for nothing. We're gonna go there. It's at E16. Right now we're at E32. Uh, which is normally very far, but given that I have the kick scooter, I feel like I can make it to E16 pretty freaking fast. If you didn't watch the other days of this challenge, basically every three days I have to switch luggages to a new absolutely insane luggage. This is one of them. Before this whole thing started, I picked up the most insane luggages in the USA. The kick scooter being one of them, and it's turned out to be my favorite thing on the entire planet. I don't think any of the luggage is gonna be even close. I think they're all gonna suck, but I'm gonna try to be optimistic. But for now, while I have the kick scooter, I'm gonna use it to go get some snacks because I feel like normally this game would be very far, but right now it's gonna seem like an absolute breeze to get there. I've already finished the full half marathon on this scooter, which is part of this challenge, and it's felt so easy, and I've loved it. I don't think it's gonna be that way for all the rest of the days, though. All right, let's go get some snacks and go enjoy them. I'm so excited! I want a Powerade and a Reese's. 
Oh no, guys, the game boy's closed. I literally just pulled up and yeah, it's closed. Though, I'm not even upset about it. You know why? Because I'm just so grateful I had so much fun scooting over here. I love this thing more than anything on the planet. Can I keep this thing forever and just use it as my main luggage? I hate that I have to swap it out tomorrow because that made it, like if I walked over here and I had like a horrible piece of luggage, which might happen for the rest of the challenge, I would not be so optimistic. But right now, I had such a fun time that I have no issues with it. It's fine. I'm gonna go to my gate now. I'll take it as an L, an L, L. <laughs> And it's fine. It's totally good. All right, so I'm gonna see if there's anything else we can do in the like 20 minutes we have before boarding. But if not, I'm gonna accept it. We're gonna go to the gate. We're getting on the flight. We're gonna go to Tampa. Okay, so I looked around. There's nothing else I can do in this airport that will be open right now. And I have to board in 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm completing the last two miles of the half marathon in the airport because it's so much fun. And honestly, I'm just taking in the last day with this kick scooter before I have to switch it out to something else that I'm sure no way there's another piece of luggage that I'm gonna love as much as this. So, we're gonna scoot it back and forth. I'm already in the E-terminal, which is where my flight leaves out of. And then we're gonna go to the flight and head to Tampa, baby. I definitely missed out on a lot of cool things in this airport, but it's fine. Maybe I'll come back throughout the rest of the challenge and I get to see it for the full swing of things. But for now, we're kick scootering, baby. Last two miles of the half marathon. I have a feeling that this scooter is gonna be by far the easiest half marathon out of everything on this entire challenge. But I guess we'll find out tomorrow when I switch luggages. <laughs> oh my God. I love leaving an ad, people. It's so much fun. And putting my foot to the side like this. Do I look cool? <laughs> I just pulled over for a sec because I have to pee so bad. So I'm gonna find a bathroom before the flight because there's nothing worse than getting on a plane and then realizing that like you have to go to the bathroom and they won't let you go until the plane takes off and the seatbelt sign comes off. Like that's horrible. So I'm gonna go find that right now. My gate is E7 and apparently that's right over there. So I feel like it's promising. We are going. I can't believe we're almost at the end of day four, baby. That is so exciting. Oh my God, like this flight's boarding. All the flights are boarding. <laughs> I'm um, the person with the kick scooter with a freaking giant camera in my hand, like a psycho. E7's my gate, so I think it's right up here. All right, here is the bathroom. All right, I found my gate. It's kind of bittersweet to be at my gate right now. I just passed it just barely. I do not want to give up this thing tomorrow, I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, it does mean that we're on day four, which means I've survived four days living in airports, which is pretty exciting. But I wish I didn't start it on such a high note of like the perfect luggage that I want to live with for the rest of my life, because I think it's gonna get way harder tomorrow. All right, let's board this flight, it's a few hours. The only problem is we arrive in Tampa around one in the morning, and they will kick me out of the airside area, which basically means the area that's secure. People had to have a ticket. Go through security to get to the airside area. They're gonna kick me out to the landside area, which is where people can come if they're just like cold or hot, and they're homeless and want to sleep, which means it's way more likely my luggage will get stolen. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to be very careful tonight, but at least I have a few hours to be on the plane before I get to Tampa. It's a problem for a few hours from now. Fingers crossed it goes well, because I've never slept in the Tampa airport in my life, and I'm a little bit freaked out. But it's gonna be fine. Let's board the plane. All right, so I'm at the gate now, and apparently it's a little bit delayed. They're waiting on flight attendants. They're probably coming from another flight, which happens sometimes. It's been about 10 minutes since we were supposed to start boarding, but I'm sure we're starting boarding soon. Also, my nail polish is like, it's coming off. The fact that I'm sleeping in the Tampa airport tonight just for a layover anyway, makes it so that this is not a big deal because it doesn't really matter. I have to stay there all night anyway. All right, we are boarding. We're on our way to Tampa to do our first great luggage swap, which we've been looking forward to, but also now low-key dreading for a while now because I love the luggage I have right now. We're gonna get there a little bit before one in the morning, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit upset about it because I'm gonna get kicked to Landside, at least according to what it says online. And Landside's the unsecured area where there's homeless people sleeping and you're very much less you're a little more scared to leave your luggage unsecured because people haven't been checked. They haven't went through security. So hopefully they'll let me just sleep in airside. They don't bother me, but they might kick me to land side. And then the night's gonna be a little bit rough after that. But at least I'll get to do the great luggage swap. Swap to my next luggage, which I don't think will be as good as a case scooter. But we'll see how it goes. And I'll have to do a half marathon with that one. But I did complete my half marathon with a kick scooter, but it was a little bit easy because I loved it so much. All right, we are gonna take off soon. This flight is pretty empty, so. Oh. It should be boarding in no time. Guys, this flight is like totally empty. There's like no one on it. Going to Tampa, baby. Oh, we have the 
bathroom it's time to find a spot to sleep all right we made it to the tampa airport and it's just me here like it's completely dead there is not one other human soul in this airport that i can see which honestly makes me like super like nervous because when there's a lot of people at night it means that like you kind of just blend in there's a lot of people stuck there for a layover when it's just you that means that you stick out like a freaking store thumb store store thumb and from what I read online, they do kick you out of the secured area and kick you onto land side. For people who don't know airport terms, land side means that you're stuck on the area where anyone can get to it. People who just want shelter, which is often people who might not have the best intentions. Sometimes it's just homeless people who need a spot to stay. But the air side area where I'm at right now, past security is all travelers. They've been checked, they have no weapons on them, and they have a boarding pass, they're trying to go somewhere. That's the side I like to sleep on. From what I read online, they will kick me to land side area but I'm debating on just setting up a pad here going to bed and hoping and praying that no one bothers me and just lets me stay here all night it makes me super uneasy that it's 1 36 in the morning but I just have to make it until morning and then tomorrow we have a flight out of here to Atlanta Georgia baby and after that I'm not really sure yet in the morning my main job is to swap out the kick scooter which I am so upset about but it has to happen it's part of the challenge I might have to take on a harder option and I have to just accept it so right now I'm gonna find a place to sleep and we'll see if I get kicked out. Before I can find a spot to sleep for the night on the ground somewhere with my new sleeping pad, I need to get ready for bed and brush my teeth and everything in a bathroom. So we'll see if anyone says anything while we're doing that. All right, off to the bathroom. We're gonna try to be a little incognito. But honestly, I don't think that's possible when I'm the only one here on a kick scooter. In this bathroom. We made it to the bathroom. Nighttime routine. Oh, that was soap. Oh, that was the worst case. I thought that was the water. Oh, I just put soap on my toothbrush. <laughs> Okay, so I went to the furthest section of the airport. See how this is all empty? This corner is the furthest section with like no one in it. It's behind a plant, it's behind a pole. And what I'm hoping that means is that maybe no one will bother me here. It's almost two in the morning. From what I read online, they usually kick you onto the not secured area, AKA land side at 4 a.m. My hope is that they just let it slide. Let me stay here in this corner and like, let me sleep in peace. I'm gonna sit up here right now, lay down and just pray that no one bothers me in two hours from now. I'm so nervous. All right, we're setting up. All right, let's try out the new sleeping pad. Oh my God. It's so nerve wracking trying out a new pad. Like I have no idea how this is gonna go. Oh, it's all knotted up. All right, so I got the thermorest open. The other one I used to blow up with my mouth. This one says it's self inflating, but like I don't understand how to make it inflate, so. I see some arrows here. Oh, turn it maybe. Oh my God, I hear someone coming. It sounds like someone's coming. Oh my God, it makes me so nervous. Like someone's cleaning and they're coming closer and closer to me as we speak and I'm just waiting for them to find me and tell me to leave. <gasps> oh, I hate it. You hear them getting closer? <sighs> I moved the camera behind my suitcase because I feel like maybe if they see the camera, they're more likely to bother me. <sighs> All right. I think it's blown up pretty well. As I hear the vacuum cleaner get closer, my anxiety is just like going up, 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 up. I'm trying to take up as little room in the corner as possible. So maybe just maybe they'll be like, wow, this girl's barely taking up any room. We're just gonna leave her alone all night. All right, pillows out. Okay, there's the full setup in the corner. I feel like it barely takes up any room. Like this is the airport. That is the little corner. I hope they don't bother me, but I keep hearing the vacuum come closer and it's making me so freaked out. If you haven't seen the other daily vlogs in this series, I have to stretch before I go to bed. I'm gonna do that right now. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to sleep, like hearing the vacuum come closer and closer and closer to me. And like, I know they're gonna find me at some point. I don't know if they're gonna kick me out of the corner. And the anxiety is real because they're gonna come over here. They're gonna clean soon. For now, I'm just gonna stretch, do my normal nightly routine and just, oh, it's coming closer. <laughs> and just pray that no one bothers me. Please just look in the corner and be like, wow, this is just a girl. We're gonna leave her alone tonight. We're gonna let her sleep here all night. I'm manifesting. Hoda is a clean indoor interstate. Indoor smoking is not permitted. It feels so good. Oh my God, the vacuum's getting closer and closer. Oh my God, I can literally see him from under the table over there. I hate it. 
I see him under the table. I almost hope I'm asleep when they get here because maybe they'll be like, oh, she's so peacefully sleeping. We can't bother her. Okay, I'm all set up for bed. Not like there's anyone here to steal my stuff, but I did put my stuff against the wall and my pad in between me and my stuff, so hopefully no one can steal it. But honestly, at this airport, I'm more worried about getting kicked out than someone stealing my stuff because there's no one else around except for the cleaning crew. But I'll let you guys know it's 2.03 in the morning, and if they're gonna kick me out, I was told from online that it would be around 4 a.m. I didn't put on my PJs or anything. I'm just gonna try to sleep in my clothes because I don't know, if they kick me out, I don't wanna be like kicked to landslide in my PJs. So I'm gonna try to sleep in my normal clothes and everything. I have too much anxiety to swap into PJs tonight. <laughs> All right, I don't know if this is the end of the vlog. This will be the end of the vlog if they don't kick me out. If they kick me out, the vlog will continue. So I'm gonna act like this is the end of the vlog in hopes that no one bothers me after this. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy day four with me here in the airport. I'm taking this off because I'll be too hot sleeping in my sleeping bag with it on. I had a great day four and I'm so excited for day five with you guys tomorrow. I am not excited for the new luggage, but we're gonna do it together. Oh my God, the vacuum's getting closer. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Wish me luck tomorrow and I'll see you guys for day five of living in airports, baby. So we'll see what states the flights take us to tomorrow and how that luggage is in the morning. All right. Love you guys. Oh my God, the vacuum's getting so close. <gasps> All right. Bye. Oh, and if I have nothing else to say for you tonight, then don't forget to subscribe, like this video because it really helps you out with the algorithm. And don't forget to check out the merch I designed because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. It's linked in my bio. Love you guys. Bye. He hasn't seen me yet, but I do see him. Thank you.